Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. Approximately 11 a.m. in Honolulu, 5 o'clock in New York. It is Tuesday, the 29th day of May, and this is uh, the daily report for gold and silver. Traders, we have the precious metals markets under pressure today. In fact, they were trading higher through the evening over in Europe last night, but a downgrading of Spain's credit rating by Egan Jones, that credit rating agency, caused the euro dollar to weaken solidly down to a two-year low almost, and the U.S. dollar climbed substantially. That, of course, affected the precious metals that are based in U.S. dollars to be under considerable pressure. Down $19 in gold, currently trading 1555.80. As you can see, 1554.20. Current print on the screen, that is June gold with a low of 1545.70 and a high of 1583. Silver off about 55 cents. Current print on the screen, as you can see, is 2780. And it's had a low of 2767 and a high of 2881. These are closing prices right now as we take a break between the morning session and the afternoon session in the precious metals markets. Traders, it is my belief at this point that we are forming a base in the precious metals markets, specifically in gold right now. And I did want to spend a couple of moments and take a look at that. Looking at a daily gold chart, June gold off the COMEX, Henkin Ashi format. And the first thing that I do want to bring to our attention right now is when we look at the activity that we have seen over the last couple of trading days itself, what we'll notice is that we're really getting these consolidating types of candles, these two dojis. And with the kind of range that we have seen, coupled with the fact that we're getting these consolidating candles, is telling me that this is indicative of a market that is forming a base. Now, why do I say that? Market, no doubt, has been under pressure. And we saw it fall some more today. But the other thing that we have seen is this base here, which is roughly in the 1530 area, 1532, matches quite nicely to these lows here and also this low here, which was right around 1520 in the cash market, right around 1530 in the June gold. So it does appear on a tentative basis that there is the potential at least for right now for us to see some sort of a base form in this marketplace as long as we can get effective closes really above this target area and the target area i'm looking at is of course based upon this low that we got after we saw gold trade to a record high 1920 right in here and then have its first of a series of pretty strong corrections to the downside. It does appear as though we are forming this, this triple bottom. The next thing that I want to look at, of course, is going to be in our moving average convergence divergence, the MACD. And what we can notice here is that what we want to see typically is for this line to cross above and then for these two lines to widen because the wider they are, it gives us a better indication of the trend, and that tells us that, that that trend is really getting stronger. However, when we look at it now, you can see that it started to cross right here, came back down, and now appears as though there is a distinct possibility, and if we get a, a couple of days of rallies, we might in fact see that crossing of the two MACD lines. The next indicator that I do want to take a look at this morning is Relative Strength Index, or the RSI. I'm using a nine-day cycle, and really what you can see within this particular study is it is beginning to move towards what we'll call the 40% mark. It's currently at 3972 and you can also see that it has been really moving off of this low, came back down, but it is above this baseline right in here and does appear as though it's moving higher. Of course, 
when we look at the RSI, we look within these two parameters, up here being oversold and up here being overbought. And the last study that I want to look at for today in gold is just a simple moving average cycle that we have set it for is a 14 day because we're using a daily chart, so 14 cycles. And as you can see, currently trading 15.54, about $20 below 15.74, that two week or 14 day moving average. I would like to see it approach and move closer to that average, of course, on any kind of a breakout at this point, I am looking for any kind of significant opportunity to begin to accumulate positions on the long side once we get a little better confirmation as to whether or not this marketplace has found some sort of a bottom. Because we can say this, once we traded and broke this, this substantially long trend line, and as you can see, we can actually fix this trend line from the activity all the way back to 2008. Traders, of course, the big news has been that as the debt crisis in the European Union really expanded and got worse, what we saw was rather than gold being the favorite safe haven type investment, investors turned to the US dollar as a safe haven investment. And because of that, you can really see, this is a 432 minute chart, but you can really see from the end of last month, pretty much a straight linear line up, except for a couple of small corrections here and here. Hankanashi format, you can see that it is roughly in the mid-range of where the market hit in terms of the high. And then lastly, what we'll do with this chart is simply remove the Henkin Ashi study. So what we can see is a candlestick chart. And you can see, again, we are really looking at the mid-range of the market. But again, it is at a significant top in the marketplace when we take a look at where the dollar was trading at, and of course this is back last year before the big rally began in the precious metals markets, and you can see this top really matches up quite firmly to this top that was hit, as I said, back in January of this year. So where can this dollar go? It certainly can go much higher. Now, the dollar index is an index of six different currencies, and it's really the euro dollar which has been getting pounded, pounded hard in the marketplace as that crisis expands. Lastly, want to take a look at silver. As in gold, my current belief is that we are also forming a base in the marketplace. And the other thing that we notice when we take a look at the silver chart here, again, the daily chart, July silver, and it's these lows that have been tested and found to be significant to hold in terms of price structure. That's the positive side of the precious metals markets. On the negative, it's still under pressure. There can be no doubt. And as you can see with these alternating candle colors, we are tightly consolidating. As I said, my belief is most likely we are forming a base in these markets. It seems as though this support level in both gold and silver have held and if we can form an adequate base, I think at some point this market is going to go higher, I think substantially higher. And at the same time, my personal sentiment is that these critical support levels have held. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We'll talk to you tomorrow for another daily update and review. Bye-bye.